Mm. I have a fever, and that fever is more Jensen Ackles screaming like a little girl. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, another Season 4 Supernatural episode review here with Yellow Fever. Now admittedly, going into this one, I thought I was going to give it a 7 out of 7 because I remember this episode being very funny. And actually, it's also very scary. Despite the idea of turning fear into a joke, the literal idea of dying of fright, they do work in horror elements pretty well. Not only with the ghost character who is causing the infection, but also what happens to Dean later on in the episode right at the apex of the fear a curse. The boys are investigating a case where two guys just drop dead out of nowhere, apparently out of fright, and it turns out that there is a history in this town. A gentle giant of the past who was unfortunately brutally murdered is infecting and killing off people who essentially are bullies, and that's kind of how they work Dean into being the infected of this story, even though him and Sam had similar reactions. It's a bit of a reach, but as you'll see watching this episode, there are a few things that are a bit out there in terms of how the story is structured. On paper, reading this script, it actually probably came across as quite silly and quite ridiculous considering everything that happens. But because of the crew, because of the actors, everything works pretty well when in all reality this actually shouldn't be a very good episode. The jokes are odd, but they land every time. For the most part, the scares are very kind of odd and out of place, but they land every time. The sheriff, who is overly compulsive about hand sanitizing, which admittedly now just rings so much weirder <laughs> considering watching this episode right now and the time we're in. But it doesn't really reflect on the story, it's more so just a quirk of the guy and it's just an excuse for them to have that noise of him rubbing his hands together. Now I'm gonna go on a little bit of a ridiculously specific tangent, but the dog bit it's funny the first time, but then thinking about it, I think this was just something like, you know what would be really funny? If Dean was chased by a tiny little dog. Doesn't explain as to how the dog got there or what happened with that dog in that situation. It's just funny. And that's kind of how the episode follows. And I'm really surprised about that because like I said, there are some really hard hitting moments in this episode, especially when Dean goes through that whole fear element at the very end of the episode, when he has to defend himself against the sheriff. And then when Lilith appears and she starts doing that boom, Boom! For such a small little tyke, she's so intimidating, she's so fearful. She really pulls you in and she's one of the best parts about this episode despite being so briefly featured. But in the end, Yellow Fever is a very fun episode. It's definitely one of the hallmarks, it's obviously with this part here. But like I said, it just feels like an episode that's kind of an amalgamation of different little skit ideas that just so happen to work. And that follows through all the way into the end of the episode, right when we see Jensen Ackles singing to Eye of the Tiger. It doesn't make any sense as to why they put it in other than it was just a funny thing to film. And that's what the whole episode feels like. So in the end, I'm gonna give Yellow Fever a six out of seven. It's a fun episode, I, I enjoy it for reasons that I didn't remember. It's not as great and as stellar as I remember it being, but it's still pretty darn good. And last week I asked you guys for your comments about this episode, so let's read some off now. Yellow Fever is one of those clever episodes of Supernatural where you think it's going to be a funny episode, but it also escalates to very serious tones and legitimate scary moments. Plus this is a famous episode where Jensen steals Rocky's Eye of the Tiger theme. I really wish they stuck with Sam having yellow eyes whenever we see Sam go full demon later on in the show. The subtle moment where Dean sees his brother's eyes go yellow for a moment at the end scene always gives me chills. That's actually true, I forgot that they ever did a yellow eyes thing with him, so that was actually a bit of a creepy moment. Yellow Fever was Andrew Dad's first co-written episode and it's good for some weird reason. Something I've thought about is whether Dab is a crap showrunner or just got lazy by the time the show was on season 12 because it had exhausted everything. But either way, Yellow Fever is still really good. Finding a way to scare a ghost to death while incorporating Dean's ghost sickness as a balance between the serious and funny tone, then Bobby is always coming in clutch when helping the boys out, getting them out of a seemingly dire situation. Yes, Bobby does come in and help them out. He's still making up for the bucket of chicken in season two. And yes, it is one of Dab's best episodes, but it also it reflects on the idea of exhaustion and just creative ideas just being completely burnt out by the end of season 12. I love the Azazel and Lilith hallucinations and I appreciate the Wizard of Oz joke. I actually missed that one. 
The spirit in this episode is a Burubabu, which in this show are ghosts born out of fear. Burubabu is a yoka in Japanese folklore that is instead born out of cowardice. Although they said to induce fear into their victims like they do in the show, I kind of wish Supernatural featured more monsters and spirits of the yoka from the Japanese folklore and mythology. The other Japanese being that I can think of that appeared on the show was the show. I think, is that the one where they had to be drunk to see it? I think if that's the one that you're talking about there. Whereas according to findzebra.com, ghost sickness is a cultural belief among the traditional indigenous people of North America, notably the Navajo and some of the, I'm not going to try and say that because I'm going to say that wrong, cultures and among Polynesian peoples. People are preoccupied and consumed by the deceased are believed to suffer from ghost sickness. Could also be kind of an idea of, of grief and depression and whatnot, but that's actually a cool po uh, comment. Thank you for that. Yellow Fever is unpredictably funny. Dean was at his best. Yellow Fever. I've only rewatched this episode once over the years. That was funny. What was funny and intriguing quickly evolved and into two primary reasons. Sam being far too lacking with respect to Dean's condition. The second reason is also related to Sam. The utterly compassionless approach to road hauling a ghost who was unfairly and horribly murdered is something that I don't believe Sam would ever agree to, nor would Bobby or Dean sanction it. Maybe out of absolute necessity, but never in cold, detached manner in which it was conceived and executed. Yo, no, it is a very disturbing moment in the episode. But like you said, there is a bit of a dire situation. I do admit Sam is kind of lackadaisical. Why couldn't I say it when I was trying to read your comment? But yeah, he is a bit eh, about everything going on. It's not as serious. I think it's just because of how ridiculous it is that he is dying of this. I, I would admit it would be a little weird for me too. This might be an unpopular opinion, but in the world where humor is the most objective thing out there, please cut me some slack when I say that I never found Yellow Fever that special. When you really break it down, it's really just another filler ghost story episode, and I would have been fine with it if it was funny, but the episode is not funny, and that's due to the fact that this entire episode revolves around one joke. It worked in the cat scene, but when you repeat it again and again, it loses its merit. In much better episode later in the season, the jokes have variety and energy to them. Here, it's just Dean being afraid of a cuddly thing. It all made sense to me why this episode wasn't funny, and when I saw it was co-written by Dab, who always does his bare minimum and rehashes his stories. All in all, Yellow Fever is one of those episodes that hasn't aged well and it's a chore to rewatch. I can see where you're coming from, as I point that out in my review, but it just works. It works really well in this episode. Uh, there are some jokes, like I said, that didn't land, like him running from the dog. I don't find that as funny. And I kind of love the serious switches that happen between humor and seriousness. So I think that's what brings this episode out. And Dab wasn't being lazy at this point. We can we can give him the benefit of the doubt when he was good at what he did, because he's going to bring some really good episodes in season four and season five. Thank you guys for your comments. Now we're coming up to one of my favorite episodes from season four. It's the Great Pumpkin Sam Winchester. This is the one where they raised Sam Hain and I I really remember loving this episode. So give me your guys' comments about that episode and I'll make sure to read those off in the next review. If you guys want to watch something a little bit more in depth, I did my review analysis of the finale of the show. I talk about what it did right, what it did wrong, and what it could have possibly done better. So if you guys want to check that out, there'll be a link to that at the end of this video. Otherwise, if you like the video, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.